Hey, Isaiah, is Ed from uh, USA Today's Chiefs Wire. How you doing? Doing great. All right, thank you for taking the time to speak with us, and uh, I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, just uh, give me your thoughts on just uh, being a speaker during the USAA Salute to Service event in Kansas City. All right, so I'm, I'm, I want to start at first. I'm glad me and Derek Johnson are teaming up today to speak to the veterans that serve this country. I want to thank them for their service because without them, what they did, I wouldn't be able to do what I do today. Uh, definitely. And, you know, we're obviously, um, this is such a great event and how you guys are able to work with them and just put the message out there even more. And um, you were just saying, like, you know, you, you're working with Derek Johnson and he is a, a Chiefs legend. Um, have you had a chance to connect with any other Chiefs legend, um, legends during your time uh, so far in Kansas City? No, sir. I have not been able to yet. Okay, uh, not a problem. And uh, obviously, this is a huge draft weekend. And uh, only a year ago, uh, you were in this situation where you were uh, waiting for your name to be called. Um, what do you remember most about the day you were drafted? It was a big day for me one year ago, the same moment, because all my family and friends, my grandparents, and my teachers, you know, we're all waiting on that one moment my, to hear my name get called. And it was, it, what made it even better, it was towards the end. <laughs> sounds, it sounds bad, but it sounds pretty, pretty cool at the end. Last one, and then, you know, the story. No, definitely. Uh, definitely understand yeah, that. Cool. And uh, just the whole, you know, thing going in, going in the seventh round, did you use that as fuel for your uh, rookie season? Yes, sir. I used that as fuel going into the seventh round. I always have the chip on my shoulder. Why so late or why, why, you know, the position I was in. But I didn't question it. You know, I just kept my head down and and, and I blocked out the negative energy and stuck to the script and stayed on task. And that was finding the edge to, 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 to compete against the, the older guys and picking their brains so they could teach me the business side of the program. I definitely understand that. And, uh, you know, I just got to ask because um, it, it just seems like, and, you know, we've always written articles about rookies coming in. And uh, last year, just every article we wrote about you, there was so much support on social media from, from seems like the state of New Jersey, um, everybody from uh, Rutgers. Uh, how impactful has the support from Rutgers and, and just the state of New Jersey been so far in your career? Everything that you hope and you wish to have. For me, for me, I'm very blessed and thankful to have the whole New Jersey supporting me. Because not only that, we just played against the Philadelphia Eagles. So, me, I was growing up as a Philadelphia Eagles fan. So, I had to put my pride to the side and lock in on my job to understand my why and, and who who's behind me. This, this, I didn't want to come back to New Jersey not with a championship to hear the Eagles fans. <laughs> I, definitely, I definitely understand you on that one. So that kind of leads into my next question. Uh, after the Super Bowl, you know, you, get, you win the Super Bowl in your first season. Uh, what is your mindset heading into year two? That mindset heading into year two is, is to, to get as healthy as I can to be able to, to – to complete the whole season to allow me to, to give myself the, a chance to be able to play at my highest performance. Definitely hear that. And I just got one more question for you. Now, we noticed, like, when you when you scored your touchdown in the Super Bowl, you had a, a dance. You've had some creative dances, touchdown dances. Who do you believe is the best touchdown dance celebrator on the team? Is it you or Travis Kelsey? Because uh, this is always a debate on our uh, on our website. Uh, I gotta go with me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm tell Travis too when I see him. I gotta go with me. He might got me on the stanky leg, but with all the Jersey Club, he don't know the Jersey Club. So I'm gonna go with me. <laughs> <laughs> I respect it. I respect it. Isaiah, thank you again for your time, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you for having me on the show. Thank you.